Question, can you believe it's already that time of the year? You know, that time of the year. What am I talking about? Back in a minute. Hi, this is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City. Saves money and I love, love, love helping people to keep more of their heart. Earn money. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well as always. You know, I believe that we have a couple of new years in our lives. We have the traditional new years in January and we also have kind of sort of a mini new year. When is that to me? the beginning of September. Well, let's think about it. Almost all the kids are back to school in September, right? So it's like a time of renewal. We also anticipate the upcoming fall. And when we think of the fall, we think of harvesting, we think of, of gathering, and we just think ahead, holiday season. I love the fall. How many of you agree with me about the fall being like really an exhilarating time of the year? The weather is better, crispy, well, depending on where you live. But where I live, you get that little bit of a nip in the air from that beautiful Canadian air mass. Usually by the third week of September, you might need a little sweater or a light jacket. It's just a fresh time of the year. And in my opinion, just like we have the start of the new school year, we sort of have like a mini new year in our head. So with that, this is the perfect time to rethink your stockpile. Do you even have a stockpile? Well, that's okay. If you have never started one, now is a great time to begin. So I have a few videos about that. And I could also recommend that you head on over to the at home with Lynn Wilson channel, check it out. And she has many, many, many great great videos. In fact, I could find one of her videos and hook it up in the description box below for those who have never started a stockpile at all. Now, the one behind me is a picture of my stockpile that was taken about, well, less than a year ago. My stockpile has greatly diminished since that picture because I did use it. I don't believe stockpiles are there to be redecorations, but now it's time for me with this mini new year in my mind's eye to get going on really knowing my inventory. Because I believe that when we know our stockpile inventory, this is key. This is also the perfect time to examine, well, what did you use? What did you kind of not care about using? What did you buy way too much of? What does, does your family, like some people are a family of one, some people are a family of two, some people are a family of 10. You need to examine your own individual inventory and plug up the holes of the things that have been used and rotate the stuff that should come forward, the oldest stuff to the front and the newest stuff to the back. Now, let's talk just for a brief minute about food pantries and food banks. There are many, many people out there hurting and need to go to the food banks, the food pantries. Okay. There are many people who overtly stock their stockpile with, let's say, too many things that maybe you thought your family really enjoyed and they're perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with the item, but you would hate for it to just sit there on your shelves and turn into eventual food waste. So while you should also give things that are not just the things you don't didn't care for and you just have too much of, give away some of the things that you like too, because maybe other people like them because it's also the right thing to do. But don't forget to consider donating canned goods of food items that your family does not use. Once again, I encourage everyone to take a look at their stockpile. Just this is a perfect time in my opinion. Um, let me see, this is important. 
only purchase items that the family actually uses and needs. This is why it is so important to know what you have, to notice the rate of usage. You know, it's kind of like your own miniature grocery store. It's your grocery store on a miniature scale. And you are in charge of it. You are the CEO. You are the manager. You are the executive of your own little grocery store, so to speak. Notice what items are moving. Notice what items. Let's think about a larger scale store. If some product is not moving, they're going to tend to not reorder that item again, right? Why should they take up valuable shelf space? So too at home. If you thought your family was going to be in love with a certain item, and many times all of us have done it, we've all been guilty of it, we see a sale, we fall all over the place for the sale because the sale looks so great, and you're so excited, and you bring it home, and your family's like, what? We don't eat this. <laughs> so people end up forcing themselves to eat something they're like half-baked about eating, and I don't, I don't believe in half-baked eating, in my opinion. I believe that, uh, that you know, one should really, you know, really uh, love, you know, their meals. So that's my opinion. I don't know how you feel about that. But sometimes the sales look so good. It's not really a sale. You've not saved money if the item ends up as food waste. You've not saved anything. But do go over the stuff that you have. Like, really look at it. Do I really like those heavy peaches, I mean, uh, those peaches in heavy syrup, or do I prefer to buy peaches in its own natural juices type thing? Sometimes you just don't like see the fine print, you just gather it up at the salad, like go, wee, you know, and then you realize, oh no, that's the really sugary kind that I really don't want. But that's, by the way, if that really happened, that's a quick fix. Just drain it, just rinse it, and you'll be okay. Don't just waste it. Oh, no, I have the heavy syrup one. No, 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 no. Just, just strain it out, rinse it out, and you'll be totally fine. Um, so now you should take full advantage of sale items on the things that you do use and you do like. If your family really does enjoy box cake mix, whatever certain flavored cakes your family loves, like devil's food or lemon or whatever if they have like one of those um five for ten dollar or ten for ten dollar sales and you have a large enough family you do actually use it you know in a timely manner get it but if you're a family of one and you bake a cake a cake or two in the course of 10 months i wouldn't be so fast about buying those those uh you know 10 box sales everything is all so dependent on your family and its situation. So let's remember this, that right now, no matter when you're viewing this, right now, for me personally, right before the start of the school year, for me, it is the perfect time to rethink the stockpile. When is your favorite time? Let me know in the comments section below. Knowing your inventory is key, just putting things on a shelf and running away from it for months and not checking it out, not a good thing. You really need to know what you got. Sometimes we just stuff the shelves, right? That's not too good. You really need to know your inventory. Uh, consider donating, and this is important, donating those canned goods or food items that your family does not use. Give it to a family that really does use it. For example, I prefer, me, Janet, I prefer canned beans, beans that are already in the can. I just can't see going through all that work and make them from scratch. I've done it once in a while it, it, with the dried. It's just for me personally, it's just not worth it. So I'm, I'm personally happy with the one in a can. So for me to stock up on bags and bags and bags of beans, for me personally, no, it just wouldn't make sense. You have to be honest about your stockpile. Only purchase the items that your family actually does use and does need. And take full advantage of sale items on the things that your family does use and does need. All right. I want to thank everyone for being here and I'll be right back with a wave. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care. Bye-bye.